The Bay Area's rock station. 1077 The Bone. Anthrax, Megadeth, Slayer, and Metallica. That's the big four. Chuck Billy of Testament and the Dublin Death Patrol. Chuck and some of the DDP guys brought their own tour bus to the big four, which was not only badass, but uh, very convenient. So thanks, guys, for the hospitality. Anthrax killed it. Joey Belladonna did the full Indian headdress for Indians. It was awesome. Megadeth, what a set list. It was good to have Dave and Dave together again, too. Not only did Slayer have the most insane set list, but Gary Holt filled it just filled it. Jeff Hanneman came out for the last two songs of the set. Nobody really knew he was coming out. Like, a few people knew he was there. But it definitely wasn't public knowledge that he was going to be there, much less that he was well enough to play a couple of songs. Gary Holt's signature blood splatter flying boo. Jeff Hanneman's signature Heineken guitar. Like I said, nobody knew Hanneman was there. So when he walked out, the crowd went nuts. He had one sleeve cut off, and you could see kind of his gnarly arm after the set. Gary had the biggest smile on his face. It was awesome. Brian Posehn! Look at all those passes he's got. I know what he did for him. Nothing's bigger than Metallica, especially at the Big Four. They brought out a huge amount of production. The Big Four literally got bigger when Metallica took the stage. The crowd was maniacal. It was massive. You just don't see crowds that big in the U.S. hardly. 